Hi everyone and welcome to another Microsoft Flight Simulator SDK tutorial. In this video I'll be going over how you can add painted lines to your airport and how to customise these with your own textures. So as we can see on the apron in front of us we've got two sets of painted lines. There's lines along the bottom are just the ones with the default textures that come in the base game and the ones along the top are the same painted lines but they have a custom texture applied to them. This is the custom texture that I'm using, it's just nice and rainbow coloured and why I've done it like this is so that you can see where which part of the texture file is applied to the painted lines because they're reused between some of the different painted lines that we've got available to us in the game. So before we get started I'll just go over quickly how you can add painted lines. So you need to have your airport opened up in the scenery editor and then come over to the objects panel. In the object type drop down you want to select painted line. You then get a list of all the painted lines that are available in the game. You'll notice there's most of these are doubled up, duplicated, because they have underscore lighted on the end and that just adds apron lighting to the different lines. I'm just going to use the default line, I'll click on the add button and you get a little round dot like you do for aprons and for polygons and they're placed in exactly the same way so you hold down the left control key and left click to place points like so and then for the final point you either hit enter or double click to finish off that. And that draws out a nice painted line for us. So if we can select that and come over to the properties panel, we've got three options in the properties panel for painted lines. The top one is the type, so this just allows you to choose different types of painted line on a painted line you've already placed. So for example if I choose edge line dashed here we get this edge line dashed. I can change it to hold short and all the other ones that we get in the list from before. I'll just change it back to default. The true angle drop down allows you to change how the painted lines are drawn, so you can see currently the painted line is smoothly following the lines that I've drawn out rather than snapping to the points and we can change that with the true angle drop down. If you select all points on the true angle drop down it will snap to the control points like so and if you leave it at none it will be smooth. There are some other options in here and I'm not actually sure what these do so I, they don't seem to make a difference to this painted line here. So if you do know what those do maybe leave a comment in the comment section down below and let everyone know what's going on there. The last option is the optional material. And this just allows you to change from the base textures to any custom texture image that you've got. So as an example, I'm going to take the markings from the Asobo, the free Asobo Paderborn Airport, which is EDLP. So if I just enable bitmap preview here, we can see we've got EDLP markings 001. If I just select that and then click on the optional material, you can see that changes there. And you can see this a lot better with the edge line dashed. They've got a nice yellow and black dashed line here that's different from the default one. Now you should be able to click this little X here to take off the optional material but that seems broken as of the latest SDK patch. So the way to get around that if you want to reset it to the default ones and you don't want to remove the painted line is to come over to the material editor, go on to markings and go to taxiway marking. You can see here this is the texture file for the default Asobo taxiway markings. If you just select that and then click on there again and it will reset it back to the ones from before. So if we take note of what the taxiway markings are called here, they're ASO underscore taxiway underscore marks, we can actually find these in the game files and be able to copy over these and that's what I did to make my te custom texture image. So I'm just going to pull up this simulator directory. For the Windows Store version, which is what I have, it's under local app data, packages, Microsoft.flight simulator. Might be slightly different for the Steam version. And then we want to go to local cache, packages, official, one store. And we want to find the folder called fs-base-materiallib. That's here. We open that up, go to material libs, base underscore material lib, textures. And we can scroll through here and just find the aso underscore taxiway underscore marks file. And this is what's used in the simulator here. You'll notice that this is a DDS file and that's a type of compressed image file that's used in the game engine. Most image editors won't be able to open this file by default. I know that's the case for Photoshop at least and I think it's also the case for GIMP. I'll put some links in the description for plugins that you can use to open these files. The one I'm using is the NVIDIA Texture Tools Exporter plugin for Photoshop and there's also one I've found for GIMP as well if you're using GIMP. So I'll open up this file here. And we can see this is the same texture file that we saw in the material editor in the simulator. So what I did for this is I just copied over on these. I added colors over the top just so I could be sure which parts of the texture were being used where. And then saved that as a normal PNG file and added it to my material lib directory in the packages folder. 
and I showed how to set up the material lib and add textures in the previous episode. So if you need help with that, do check out that tutorial. I'll put a link in the cards at the top right of the video. So once you've added your texture, you can come back into the simulator and open up the material editor. So you need to create a new texture under the file new button and then give it a name and give it the surface of paint. I've added the albedo texture and then we want to save and apply that. If you've got a painted line selected, it will actually apply it straight away. If you don't, you can select it from the material editor and come down and click on the optional material box there. And as we can see, that's applied the material onto the painted line there. The last thing you need to do is make sure you've saved your scenery product. So either come over to the scenery editor and press Control S or just click the save scenery button at the bottom there. And then come over to the project editor. And there's a new button at the top here. You can click build all. Uh, this doesn't open the console by default. So just hit the tilde key or go to Windows console. As always, you want to check for the finished line in here. So we've got finished, eight skipped, one done, zero failed. And the important part is the zero failed. And that means all of our packages built correctly, which is great. So that's how you can add painted lines to your airports and then customize them using your own textures. If you enjoyed the video, do leave a like and subscribe to see more videos like this. If you've got any questions or if there's anything you'd like me to cover in future tutorials, do let me know in the comment section down below. And until next time, thanks for watching.